What's going on YouTube? It's One Out Supreme again, and welcome back to some more Star Citizen. Before I start, I just want to point out that God of War Ragnarok comes out in a few days, uh, three days actually. Um, it is Sunday, November 6th right now. Um, so when that game comes out, I'm going to be taking a week off of uploading so I can just dive deep, kind of recoup, take a little bit of a break, um, and just enjoy God of War. Because I would be doing myself a disservice if I did not take the time to play that myself. And um, yeah, so I just want to give you guys a quick reminder about that. Um, when I do come back after God of War, I will be kicking kicking things off right where I left off. I will be pumping videos out like I am. Um, starting off with the start of IAE. Um, I'm going to cover every day of IAE. Um, basically going to walk through the show floor every day, kind of take a glimpse of what's there and uh, maybe rent some ships and try them out, uh, for the ships of that day. Um, each, each, since I do record, um, I basically, the, the day you see, you guys see my videos, I recorded it the night before. I, so when I like, for example, I do Drake day. I will re be recording it on Drake Day, and then the Drake video will be coming out on Origin Day. And then I will re be recording on Origin Day, and then the Origin Day video will be out on the third day. I don't know what's after Origin. So, um, oh, I just don't remember. So, I want to point that out, too. So, when I come back after, after God of War is done, and IAE kicking off, because when I come back, it will be the day after IAE starts. Um... We're going to be kicking it off full swing with IAE and all the orc shenanigans with Darth, Chief, Wolf, Striker, all of them. Because we got a best in show skin we're waiting for. And that's going to be sexy. So in this video, uh, Sand let me fly his Vanduul Scythe. Now, you can't buy on a pledge door as of right now. But... Um, if you are a tier two subscriber, which is a $20 a month subscription to RSI on the website, you have access to a Vanduul Scythe that you'll be able to fly around. It's not a permanent thing, but they give it to you if you're a tier two survivor at, or survivor, oh my God, subscriber, um, as of right now, I'm pretty sure it'll be like that for a while too. So it's not like you need to, oh my God, I need to rush and subscribe. And so I can get this ship one. Before you do that, if you really want one, see if you got a buddy who has one and fly it out. You'll 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 kind of understand why when you when you see the video. And when I say that, um, and like I said, it's who knows? It might it might be like oh my god for some of you, it'll be oh my god I need to I need to own this ship I need this this is my favorite ship ever you know and that's cool do it go ahead it is. It's a it's a cool ship. It's really cool. So, and I will always say, fly the ship you want to fly. I don't care if you're going out and PvP and doing PvP in a freaking Pisces. Do it. If you want to do it, do it. Fly the ship you want to. Um, but it's a cool ship. It really is. So, um, yeah, San let me uh, borrow his. I took it out on some bounties a little bit. I, I didn't actually. I think I only took it out on an ERT. Yeah, I only took it out on an ERT. Um. But it was a lot of fun to fly. It was very awkward to fly. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. When I see you hop in the fucking uh, cockpit, I'll just radio to open the hangar. All right. All right. Here we go. What the fuck? <laughs> it's a lot taller than I expected it to be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those landing gear are like chicken legs. <laughs> yeah, it is. Exactly. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, and when you when you get in, it's like going up a chicken's ass. <laughs> <laughs> it is, man. You'll see. You'll see. Oh, Am I man. lying, Sand? Not at all. It's like going up a chicken's ass. It I is, dude. dude the, my first the, thought, but it's not wrong. The blade on that fucking wing looks crazy, though. And when it goes active, when they when they de 
debug it and they let it do damage, it's going to be freaking nasty. Oh, I would love to use the blade. Like, depending on how they, like, make it work, I would love to see it, like, cut, like, it's... literally just slice into a hammerhead. Just go, shoo! You know? Well, it's supposed to be for destroying ships. That's that's the purpose yeah. of it. Yeah, or to slice something. That's, that's... It's a ramming blade. You, you, you know what it reminds me of? Hmm. C-3PO and a Phantom Menace. Yeah, it's all missing the exposed its, conduit. Yeah, yeah, it's missing its coverings. <laughs> well, it's definitely Van Duel styling. Yeah. Um, you know, they're like space barbarian crazy lizard people, so... Oh, so, take, so they're like... The they're like... Taking out the shields. So they're rabid Sangheili. Gotcha. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. Have you wow. not seen them? I, I've, like I've seen them. Teeth. I've seen them. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's let's see the uh, the animation in this. Oh yeah, it is like getting <laughs> up on a chicken's head. <laughs> <laughs> Want to get laid? Crawl up a chicken's ass and wait. <laughs> that is a. Oh, uh, that is so That's weird. Huge, it's it. so cool looking though. Yeah. From the pictures, it kind of looks ugly, but like it, this way, it looks really cool. Tom, I like the, the it's asymmetrical look. Anim it's got a nice animation for picking up the landing gear, too. Oh, really? Yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, let's power it on. Oh, here we go. Although the thing you've got UI is annoying as hell. Yeah, especially oh, yeah. when you're fighting on a on a red desert background. It's yeah, you can't see yeah. nothing. You're like, Ooh. what? The uh, red the glowy from it, though. The, the only thing that's not red in those UIs is the damn, like, the cruise control icon when it's below SCM. Right. And the uh, the crazy thing is, is if you're taking damage, you can't tell if you got red in the damage because your, your hologram yep. is so red. All right. I'm going to pull out of there. Always here. low or never low. It's, you know, it's whatever. All right. <laughs> Okay. But I've, I've taken out bounties in that thing from a good ways off without taking out their shields. Really? All right, let's lower the landing gear. Or raise the landing gear. That is so weird looking, dude. <laughs> and like all Vandal ships, it has a red light for the headlight. I figured yep. as much. That is so weird. Like, it, it's, it's almost like... It's almost like Nemo. Got a big fin and a little fin. Yeah. It's almost like Nemo. Yeah. It's it's definitely asymmetrical. Not my favorite thing because I don't like asymmetrical ships. They just they don't jam with me. Yeah. I mean, like the course the the Corsair that definitely not gonna own one. I'll, I'll blow them up all day long, but I won't own one. I might I'll get one for a, for a video, next. but I might I, I I might end up borrowing yeah. Darts for that. I was gonna say I talked to Chloe. He's gonna. He's already got one. Yeah. Whenever. So as soon as it comes out, he's gonna have one. So the nose guns are these technically size twos then? There's no there's size ones and size fives. Oh. oh. Oh yeah, that's right. Size one and size five on it's the wing. Two ones, two fives. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Has it the got any missiles? Fives are nasty. Yeah. yeah that's it's got eight nasty. arrow ones. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. What was that? The size five cannon. Oh sh! When I when I switch from missiles to guns and then or vice versa, the blade fucking pokes. Yeah, so it pokes out, so you can technically time it to cram to ram somebody with it, and it would work in that capacity. But you have like half a second to do it. Yeah, it's very fast. That's cool looking though. Interesting. <clears throat> yeah, I want to try to pick up a glaive doing IE. I don't know if I want to spend that much on a glaive though, but I, I, depending on how this does, I might just sub for one of these. Just, I mean, the glaive, in my opinion, looks better because it's symmetrical. But how often do you see one of these? This thing's freaking mean looking. I use actually. Uh, really? I've not, I've, yeah, I've, I use that thing decent amount. I like to use it for for like bounties. Here, I'm gonna. Uh, I just, 
I'm I'm using the hawk early just to screw around, but that thing takes out targets fast. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it out on a VHRT. So I'm taking this thing out on an ERT. Uh -huh. <laughs> I was like, huh, size five guns, the, ERT. Shields on. So I take it the uh, weapons the, on. The ERT didn't last too long. Oh no, I I Power just shields. I, it, the ERT was the first one I saw pop up. So I'm like, eh, screw oh, it, okay. click. Fair enough. So uh, for your flare counter, what do you set it to on this thing? I, I don't ever change it because. Oh, you just kind of hold and let loose. Yeah. Oh, okay. I just, uh, no, I just like do one at a time usually when they get close. Like last second, I pop them and oh, then okay. dodge. Uh, be careful though, because when you get when you start to get low, you're gonna want to like you're gonna end up skirting the surface mm -hmm. if you're not careful, because that thing is terrible at atmosphere. So you you gotta boost to get away from the planet sometimes. Yeah, Selen's not too bad with atmosphere. Yeah, that's where so I'm at right now. With, it's more to do with your at, with your momentum than anything else. Okay, gotcha. We gotta turn on these fucking lights then too. Um, asshole! Jesus Christ! Yeah, right. I am sick of these ramming sons of bitches. You and me both, dude. Fucking kamikaze AIs. Uh, yeah, yeah, that sucks. Power to weapons. Let's see what's up available for me to do while you do that. Thanks to somebody have ERTs unlocked and still thanks to the ERT. I have ERTs unlocked if you want to get them. I've got them. Ooh, I still have interesting. ERTs. I have those too. Yeah. You should have gotten VHRTs. No, I don't have the uh, I don't have the red pull. VHRT comes before ERT. Oh, I'm aware. I did. So how did somebody, you... somebody Oh, somebody there. helped you. Somebody had their uh, their evaluation for ERT, and they shared it, uh -huh. and then they went and did it, and now I have ERT. That makes sense. I've heard of that happening. So, yeah. So, I have this group ERT for 80 oh, seconds and all that available right damn now. Damn it! I am sick and fucking tired of that. Ooh, HRT, everybody's out. HRT's. Alright, They're coming at you doing like 1,200 km, uh, meters a second, and you can't dodge, and they literally slam into your cockpit. Yep. Jesus fucking Christ, I hate that. Oh, well, there's another player here with me. I'm doing a group HRT. Will you screw out of that? I'm playing with my hawk some more. The, uh, so you're a brave man, because I can't, I can't get myself to get beyond MRT with ooh, a hawk. Target splash. Uh, I did the hammerhead earlier, so I'm gonna keep doing it. I did, I did a couple HRTs earlier with this, with this thing. I've got uh, six neutron guns, and I use the EMP on it. All my distortion stuff is left in on kill one. Gotcha. So I'm using sucker punches. Uh, I'm, I'm using the standard loadout, basically. And um, I go in and I, I go to use the, the sucker punches and I knock shit out. And then I try to EMP and everything overheats. And I've upgraded everything. And I mean every component, including the coolers. Oh, right, because the sucker punches are bastards for cooling. Yeah, but oh, every, one night when I pop off the EMP is when everything yeah, so are you charging the EMP and holding it for a long time? No, I, I just tap it, let it charge. When it hits 100, I zip right in and I, I discharge it right away. And then I'm firing my guns, obviously, and everything just overheats. I'm like, fuck! Yeah. I've never had that issue. But I have I, it on the uh, Hawk, I, not much else. I was running, yeah, I was running two sucker punches for my size ones, and then my, uh, my size twos were a different repeater. They weren't sucker punches. They were a different distortion. Whoa, whoa. But I don't even run those right now. I just everything's neutron. I just run full, uh, full half. To... So, I don't. I don't know what it is because neutrons and lasers do the exact same damage with the same effects. But yeah. somehow, it seems to me like neutrons shred shields a lot faster than regular they lasers. Do. I noticed yeah. that too. It's it's got to be a perception thing on my behalf, 
but it seems like you just shred through their shields in no time. But according to the data and according to all the information mined, they are exactly the same. They do the same damage at the same rate. This thing the is the same size. This thing is fun. It's a little awkward, but it's a lot of uh -huh. fun. Yeah. Dude, let me tell you something. In a straight line, that thing can cook. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with a Gladius. I handed him his ass over Port Ollie. Yeah. He And I went limping back because I wasn't in good shape. But it was a player, and he was doing pretty good. But he happened to stray <laughs> like an idiot into the Armistice Zone. And he got butt-fucked by security. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like mean, they literally jumped on him as soon as he crossed the Armistice Line. Yeah, like when I'm flying, I can feel the, like there's more weight on one side than there is on the other. Oh, yep. yeah. It's very weird. Okay, Valkyrie and a hurricane. Let's take out let's let's hand that hurricane his ass first. Close comms. No, it's pretty anecdotal, but again, I wasn't very impressed overall with the scythe. It sits in my hangar 99.9% .9 of the time. Yeah, it's very awkward to fly. It feels very awkward. That's because you are human. You are not Bandu. Uh, I got the freaking comms bug going on right now. Oh, no, it disappeared. Okay. I just closed my comms. I don't even want to... I don't want to lower my IQ. Oh, no, it's the uh, the one where it like, blocks out your FM MFD. Oh, yeah. That's annoying. Okay. Gotta recharge my shields. Does this thing have size one shields? Uh, I think so, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's a bubble shield. What the? Dude. Okay. I'm also not. I'm also flying over SCM, too, so that's all, another reason why it's feeling a little awkward, I think. Well, it doesn't fly worth the shit in Atmo, too, so just be warned about that. Yeah. It's got the aerodynamic properties of. Well, to put it bluntly, a the fucking Jeep. brick. <laughs> yeah. Um, the only thing that handles worse than that thing is, that I have is the mole. Well, that that oh, is geez. that is literally a, a brick, so yeah. I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Cream, what's up, man? What's going on? What's up, Cream? Same old, same old, man. Mm-hmm. I'm going to hop on the citizen of Star Wars. Hell yeah. <laughs> the star of person. Yes. Oh no, yours is person of star. Yeah, it is person of star. It's because I didn't want to copy sand. Or firebound, mm. sorry. That'd be shit. <laughs> okay. Kotas. I went against a fellow arrow. Oh god, god. oh god, oh god, just no bueno, no bueno, no bueno, no bueno. <laughs> <laughs> I just took on a ha the the Hurricane Valkyrie and Hammerhead nose to nose. Not good. No. No. Did you win? Uh, I'm alive. That's a plus. But I'm good getting job. shredded by the hammer by the Hurricane right now. Eh, that's all right. But once I get once I get up to a full burn, I should be all right. Then once you get the Hammerhead by himself. Yeah, I just like to take on its wingmen. Yeah, you do. That's the only challenge for those. Yep. And then, because I'm really curious to see how the size 5 cannons will do against that hammerhead. It's just, I don't want to die Pretty doing decent. it. 
uh, they'll be pretty decent. Uh, they, they knock down a lot of damage real quick. Yeah. I do fire slow, and they actually don't uh, stagger with uh, when you have your weapon staggered. No. Which no, they don't. Is they are a group. Kind, kind of annoying. I'm not going to lie. Pretty fine. I'm flying Sans uh, Scythe. Oh. I'm trying it out. I'm only going to use all four. Oh, I'm getting a little low to the ground. Uh. Power up the ship. Oh, we're all powered. That means I can get my Eclipse out and do some ERGs. <laughs> Shield failure. Uh oh. Uh oh, I lost the wing. I lost the wing. You're Hard to done. Do when you only have one. <laughs> yep, I lost. I I lost the little arm. I love. I just. I love finishing people off with the EMP. <sighs> oh, I love it. <laughs> I love hitting them in Atmo. And then they go crashing to the ground. Yeah, and they start spinning. I, I was yeah. using the Super Pisces build on my saber, and Wolf and I took down a hammerhead. Two, I was I was in the saber, and uh, I think he was in. I think he was in an arrow. Yeah, Wolf likes to fly that arrow against the biggest ships he can find. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. Which is admirable, truly is. Yeah. So he was doing that. And I shut down a hurricane. You just see it start spinning. <laughs> it just starts spinning and three fell to the ground. It was great. This thing is surprisingly more fragile than I thought it would be. Oh, it is like made out of China. So what's interesting it's... is according to the lore, the more advanced pilots fire fly the glaive. Oh, oh, ooh, that was satisfying all. I just hit the nose of the hurricane with the size five, with the only size five um, cannon that I have left, yeah. and he went to bye bye. But I'm going. Oh, yeah. I don't. I don't think I can. I can't repair it, Sand. Can I? You can. I can. Yes, you can. All right. Yeah, you just gotta land on pad. All right, then I am going to disengage and uh, like you can't do. What I'm thinking though, why he engaged though, it's because I think I might have accidentally hit Chief or him with my EMP when I I just dispersed it so I didn't overheat. All right, just he the Valkyrie. Like he was far enough away that he wouldn't have hit. That's him. what I thought too. You didn't hit either of us. That's what I thought. Yeah. Okay. Ooh. He was engaging you because really you were getting in his way of getting dark. Darth, yeah. would, Darth would have wiped the floor up with him. Not gonna lie. I was in a fucking. I was in an eclipse. I don't. I don't think I would have gotten very far with that. <laughs> oh, would you fucking looky there, guys? Uh, I still have my P4 AR. In prison? Uh, and, no, I, 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 I the halves. Yeah. I can go right back and just fucking the UEs there, right the fuck up. Everything you get caught with, you can get back. It's not not necessarily Ooh, these size fives just tore that valkyrie apart yeah they do that that was nuts i love how i still act surprised when i know how, how the m7a just tears shit apart when i when i have it on the vanguard yeah all right just, just wait till next week when they when they put the uh, point four in the PTU and everyone's flying around with the Corsair. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna get my sub at that point. I get, I gotta wait till the tenth to get paid and then I'm gonna grab my sub so I can get some access. It'll, the point four will be will be way three. Oh, okay. Every, so it'll, it'll be open PTU. Okay. So I, I don't have to worry about it for right now then. Yeah. Perfect. I fi actually I fi I kind of figured as much. Holy fuck, this thing. All right, well, let's, let's, oh, fuck me. What's up? What's up? I, I have, I have the fucky wucky. Why am I dying? The Moby Glass again? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Yep, Mo Moby Glass, no head. 
try logging and see if it does anything. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull a sex change and see if that fixes it. If you didn't change your eye color. I tried that before, it didn't fix it. So fun fact, the blade, if you're a female model, you can't use the blade to do quantum jumps on your map. The female model is a blade, you pull up your map, it's zoomed in, this, and you can't set a course. So just zoom it out. On your map. Ooh, yeah, these no, things fucking mean, chunk. I don't mean the map itself is zoomed in, I mean Ooh, the my shield entire thing, the Moby Glass is zoomed in. Oh, oh, so it's an issue with the Moby Glass. Not the, not the star map. It's an issue with the blade and the Moby Glass because of the way that you sit in the Vandal ships. I was so excited to do Naughty Boy shenanigans. It hurts my feelings. I shot one out for a second. Don't hit the deck, don't hit the deck, don't hit the deck, don't hit. Oh, okay, we're good. Oh, I thought you I was good? lower. Yeah, I thought I was lower. Yeah. This thing chunks, though. Holy yeah. shit. What are you in? The scythe. Yeah, scythe is a, is a beast. Ooh, that was a good hit on that missile. You got, what, two size five and two size threes? Two size ones. One. Size ones. I mean, regardless, with two size five blade plasma cannons. And that's what I'm mainly hitting this thing with. Okay, fellas, good news. A, a, sex, a sex change seems to have fixed my issue. Okay, good. Splash on the hammerhead. This thing is nasty on fucking hammerhead. Holy shit. That's dope. Ooh, that, 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 that's some, that's some sexiness. I'm not going to lie. That's hot. Oh, I think it's y'all are doing legal activities. Oh, right now, since Sand let me borrow his scythe, I was like, I want to, I want to see how it does. And, uh, for like, I originally I was going to do a VHRT, but then the only bounty that popped up when I jumped out of Crusader was an ERT right away. So I'm like, well, I do have size five cannons, so let's do it. So, <laughs> so that was the Vanduul scythe. It's, I loved the glaive. I really did. The the scythe felt like it was a handicapped glaive with how it flew. Um, it, other than that, it's pretty much a glaive just with, you know, a T-Rex arm, essentially, you know. Um, it's a, definitely a cool ship. I mean, if asymmetrical ships are your thing, hell yeah, it's it's a good it's a lot of fun. It's got a lot of firepower. But um, it's not a ship. I don't think I'd ever be uh, it ever be in my hangar. If it's if it's available at some point to uh, to buy in game, I'll probably buy it. Um, especially when the rework comes out, because the glaive and the glaive blade and scythe are all getting reworks at some point, and they look mean. If you see some of the concept art on it, oh my god, they look fantastic. Um, so I will, I will revisit both the glaive and the scythe at that point, but that won't be until squadron 42. Um, as far as I believe, let me know if I'm wrong on that, but, uh, either way, it was still a lot of fun. It's, it's fun to, to try out ships. I've never flown before. It's just, it's a whole new experience and new experiences are great and you get a ton of them playing this game. So. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead, leave a like, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you guys in the next video and around the verse. Alrighty, have a good one.